Welcome to Continuous Testing Live. We're broadcasting from the offices of CA Technologies here in Santa Clara, California. I'm Eric O'Dell and I'm the Director of Continuous Testing Solutions Marketing. And uh, we're here to talk about how continuous testing makes your apps rock. I'm joined here with my friend and colleague, Jeff Hughes. He's the Director of Product uh, Marketing for Test Data Manager. How are you doing today, Jeff? I'm doing well, thanks. All right, and as we talked about in the previous video, Jeff is now going to be showing us a demo of virtual test data management. Before, but before we do, I want to talk about what people should be looking for in a test data management solution. Yeah, great question. So a lot of companies are looking at test data management products and uh, oftentimes they think of the subsetting and masking as principally the, you know, the main features for test data management. But it is actually a much bigger than that. Uh, test data management includes things like synthetic data creation and it also includes virtual test data management which we are going to show you today. Uh, all of these are different ways of delivering data to the testers that need to get a hold of that data uh, quickly so that they can test applications, get those applications out the door for their end users and their customers. Okay, and how can administrators and other users benefit from virtual test data management? Yes, well, virtual TDM uh, is, a, is an add-on feature for Test Data Manager. Uh, we started shipping it in version 4.2, and now we're in version 4.3. So it's an add-on feature, and the administrators can basically create the data more quickly and uh, deliver that data to the testers that need to get a hold of the data. The testers, on the other hand, are free to make multiple copies of the test data. It's basically virtual instances of the original test data, and they can use that data, they can modify it, add to it, delete it, and so on, and so it gives the testers that flexibility that they need to get the test data when they need it. All right, that's very interesting. Why don't we go straight to the demo and see All how right. it works. Well, what I'm showing you here is on the test data manager uh, portal, you'll see here as an administrator, there's a number of different tabs. One of those tabs is the VTDM tab. Um, if you click on what can VDM, VTDM do for you, it takes you to a page here that gives you a number of helpful videos and introduction to virtual test data manager. So that's just to get you started. Back here on the main page though, notice that there's three steps that we outline. The first one is installing the VTDM appliance, um, and that basically is a VM instance. It's an OVF file mm -hmm. that you install in your environment. And how long and does that installation take? Uh, it's very, very quick. A matter of minutes you can install the, uh, the and file. Very easy to use? Very, very simple to use. But that's just the start. So we're getting the, we're going to do the install of the appliance. And, uh, and then you manage the appliance, and so you create uh, gold copy data and you checkpoint that. So basically you define the data that you need. And then third is your end testers consume that test data. So there's really uh, three steps involved here, and I just wanted to point that out Very um, easy. before we get started. So if you look here, this is a, a main screen for the appliance that we've created here. So in this example, Eric, we've installed the appliance. Notice here there's a, an IP address. It shows you the version of, of TDM. Uh, it also says that this appliance has been registered uh, to this particular portal. So now you can connect and log in. Notice that there, is some, uh, there are some statistics here on disk usage. We've created a one gigabyte uh, test, uh, testing instance, or what we call a checkpoint. Okay. Um, and then these are other stats over time, these stats would change. And so you have uh, storage saved and amount of time saved. So these are useful stats uh, as you deploy uh, VTDM appliances. So in this particular example, we, cr we created here just a one gigabyte instance of test data. And so again, the way this works is we would install an appliance, we would create a file view or a file system, which is what we've set up here, and then we have a gold copy, which is where we've actually copied the data to this particular appliance. And so when I say copy the data, what you do is you go in to your uh, data that you want to use, you subset it, you mask it, you take out the personally identifiable information, and then you're ready to copy that data onto the appliance, okay? And so once it's copied on here, then you can make that data available to your end users. And so we've already gone ahead and set that up. 
Um, notice here that you can either turn on or turn off, uh, make the checkpoint visible to a user. A checkpoint is an instance of data, okay, it's a, it's a timestamp, if you will, of the data that we're using for this particular uh, test that we want to do. And so you can either choose as an administrator to show all of those particular checkpoints to your end testers or, or not. You can add additional file systems. Maybe, maybe this one here is for MSSQL. Okay. Maybe you can add a file system here that would be for Oracle 11. Those are the two databases that we currently support right. um, in this version. And so I've gone ahead and set all this up, but you can see here that there's uh, all kinds of uh, things that you can do. This is um, a, a little more information on adding data. So this is an M MSSQL server and it gives you instructions on how you would actually copy the data over uh, to this particular file system. So I hope that's clear. You prep your data, you copy it over to, mm -hmm. uh, to this particular instance, and then you're ready to uh, deliver that data to the particular end users. Now, uh, as these end users, or I should say end testers, test and create the clones, they may inject additional data. And so their particular size of their clone may go up or down depending on what they do with the data. Um, if you were an end user or an end tester, you would see a slightly different screen. But I'll show you just for sake of brevity in this particular demo they would see a screen that would say my clones so the tester would log into the portal obviously they wouldn't have the administrative privileges sure. but they would have the ability to create new clones so let's say i'm an end tester i log in and i want to create a particular clone so again what do i do i'm going to use that gold copy that first checkpoint that i define that's one gigabyte okay. and that's the data that i'm going to be able to use for my particular test so as an as an end tester i can now create a clone and i can just say you know my first clone and um and i'm ready to go and i just hit create and it's going to go ahead and create that first clone for me this is notice here that um the original clone or the original data was one gigabyte notice here the the timestamp here 280 not the timestamp, but the size stamp, 280 KB, okay? okay? So this is what's really cool about VTDM, is you copy the data over once, that's your gold copy, and then all of the testers that create clones mm -hmm. can then create instances of that test data, and it uses virtually no space at all to create those instances. Okay. So again, the, the storage savings and the time savings is so significant. Um, when you go ahead and you set up these these clones if i click on details i can it'll tell me where that data is stored okay it even has an option where i can email the details over to me or some of the other testers mm -hmm. of where that particular clone uh, data is stored and how i connect uh, to that resource to, to pull that actual data and so that's just kind of a, a, a quick preview of, you know, from an administrator standpoint and from a tester standpoint, how powerful this tool is. It really is powerful. Now, just, just, let's just reiterate, we've got some compliance issues coming up in the spring. Talk, right. talk to us about how this is going to help us. Well, uh, yeah, GDPR, the General Data Protection Regulation, goes into effect uh, in, in uh, 2018, May right. of 2018. Uh, the European Union says that they're going to levy heavy fines to wow. customers that are not protecting uh, private uh, end user data. And so testing has become paramount uh, as far as data protection goes. So VTDM is going to allow you to uh, produce the right data in, uh, you know, very quickly. You can sanitize that data, protect that data, and then deliver that data to those end testers so that they don't have to worry about another aspect of right. testing, which is the compliance concerns that you're talking about. Right. So I guess to, to kind of recap, VTDM is a powerful add-on feature to Test Data Manager. Okay. It, 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 it rounds out the solution that we're providing with Test Data Manager. So not only can you subset and mask with TDM, uh, you can build synthetic data, which means you can create fake data from scratch. And now we offer VTDM, okay. which allows you to 
uh, copy, make one copy of the subset of the data that you need, mm -hmm. and then provide that instantly to the testers, and they can build as many clones as they need for their particular testing. We believe it will dramatically speed up uh, testing efforts, and uh, CA Technologies has the tools and the solutions to help companies test faster. Well, Jeff, this was a great demo and some great information to pass along to our viewers. And if you want to learn more about virtual test data management or also our test data manager, you can go to CA Technologies uh, Continuous Testing Site. And it's very simple, go to whenshifthappens.io. Whenshifthappens.io. And you can learn about test data manager as well as service virtualization. You can learn about Blaze Meter's performance testing and much, much more. We hope that uh, you'll take some time to go to whenshifthappens.io. In the meantime, we'll see you in the next video and we'll be talking about other things like uh, continuous delivery director.